Isn't that something that, like, when you're this macho football player hanging out with the guys and then you go into theater, do guys give you hell for that when you become an actor and you, you're part of that whole jock I, thing? I didn't care. I, yeah. I, I, I mean, I, I, yeah, it was like I I woke up then. I, I just found something that I loved. It were you good me. at it right away, or did it take yeah. time? You were. Yeah, I w- you know, I was always goofing on cl- in class. You mean you were good at the beginning, like when someone said to you, become a character, would you think about somebody you knew in your life and become that character? I'd use whatever I could. What did you use? Because I'm, I'm amazed by actors who are really good, and you're one of them. Do you think about somebody you know in your life yeah, or and I'd then st- do an impression? I'd steal it from another movie. Real, would you? Yeah. Like, like a like brand If I saw or... Pacino doing something, I'd, I'd use that. Uh, <laughs> do you do impressions, actual literal impressions? I, you know what? I did when I was like in seventh and eighth grade to get out of beatings. Who did? Who did I, you I, got I beatings? I was really, really good in, uh, at um, um, Jim do? Neighbors at Gomer Pyle. Golly. Yeah, I, I could do a lot of impressions, and I, I'd do it for the hard guys, like in the hall, and they would take care of me. When you get hired to do Revenge of the Nerds, do you sit there and go, "I saw Pacino do something, so in this character, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do"? No, this. that that one was pretty, uh, pretty self-starting. I, I used a couple of football coaches that I knew, and so you behaved like them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so a acting, military guy is acting doing an impression in, in a sense. Are you an impressionist? Uh, in the beginning, I was a little bit because I was floundering, just desperate to to, to grab anything, but. Right. Uh, you know, later on when I learned a little more, um, I, I got to it on my own, and I'm still learning. Are you? Yeah, which I, is which is great. It's a godsend because uh, knowing that I I don't know everything, and and now I'm just trying to simplify everything. All right, take me through this. Did you ever uh, do TV commercials? Well, well, yeah. You got a very deep voice. Do yeah. You, do you ever do like those voiceovers? The announcer. I, I did a couple. Yeah. I did uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, Red do, Roof Inn. Um, do you put on that voice? You Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, yeah, yeah. What do you know? Whatever they want. <laughs> let's let's get it over with. Is that the meaning for an actor to no, do? No, I. It, you know what? When I started doing commercials, I I started hanging out with um, really really good actors, uh, Broadway actors, film actors, and I felt terrible because I was making dough. Um, uh, doing a lot of commercials. You felt like uh, you felt terrible because you were taking money away from. Other people? What would what no, made you no, too bad? No, no, I felt that because that's how I was making my living, oh, smiling yeah. and eating hamburgers. I see. In other words, you felt bad because that's not what you got into yeah, acting yeah, for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, you know, I was taking myself just a little too seriously. Well, the point is, though, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with doing a television? I mean, it's acting. It's still oh, nothing, acting. Yeah, it, and actors it, have to work. And I learned a lot from it, and yeah. um, I, I, I supported myself. Right. Did you think at the time, though, that maybe you were getting too comfortable? Oh and yeah, you weren't I, gonna stretch. I I I, I tried to stretch. I, I you know I um, I still went out and did regional theater, um, but it it, it just it, it felt like this is where I'm gonna wind up. Hey, right. is it true you were the guy <laughs> who they slapped in the face and and said thanks? I needed yeah, that. Yeah, you got skin bracer. Men, right, was yeah, it men, men and skin bracer. Yeah, yeah, you were the that guy. That was the first uh, first big commercial. You go I in, slap myself in the face, and you go thanks. I needed that. Yeah. Yeah, that I must was, have paid a fortune. Handsome young buck. Yeah. yeah. At the time, yeah, I was broke, and uh, yeah, as soon as I started making money, it's uh, when my ass hit the bar stool. Oh yeah, yeah, that was your downfall. I said they shouldn't pay you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Alan. Worried about Thanks you. Thanks for looking out for me. <laughs>